hello, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and proud members of the Big Red Food Army. You got Big Red, Little Red, and we're here for a Big Red Snack Attack. Today we got something a little different for you. We got some, well, I would say it's homemade beef jerky, but it wasn't made in this home. And it is made at a local craft shop in Old Town Spring, Texas. Which, if y'all don't know about Old Town Spring, it's just probably, I want to say, what, about 40, 50 businesses? Just... Easily in little cottages you know it's like this they do wine festivals once a year they do crawfish festivals once a year they do little festivals in the town uh but they got a that's where my uh friend's t-shirt shop is uh but anyway right in front of my friend's t-shirt shop is there's a, a pepper place where you can buy hot sauce and i mean they got a lot of hot sauce and they also make beef jerky um so if you know Old Town Spring, go check them out. It's, uh, what is it called? Uh, Simply Texas Pepper Palace. Yeah. Simply Texas. Simple Texas. Simple te simply or simple? Simple Texas Pepper Palace. Something along those That's lines. Exactly but anyway, it. I'll get the guy's business card next time. But they make, they make five different flavors, homemade beef jerky. And, uh. We got a couple pieces each. It's a little expensive, but it's, you know, whatever. Let's start off with the, uh, original. the original here. Let's see which one's which. Oh, you got it. Okay, this is the original. And they don't, unfortunately, the guy says they don't ship beef jerky uh, around the country. But if you're looking for a specific hot sauce or rub... They could get it. All right, this is the their original. I mean, you can see they got a little hole in it. They skew it, and they and what's funny is whenever I go to see my friend at his t-shirt shop and talk about new designs for my shirts, which hopefully he gets his website working right and we get my shirts on there. Uh, the guy's out there and he's got his smokers out there smoking the beef jerky and. I mean, it's thicker. You can see, it's thicker than what you get in the store, but it's thinner. So, but with it being thicker, you get more of a meaty taste. And this is their original, and it's got a good smoky flavor. I would say. What about you? What say if you? Tastes like good leaf cracker. But I'm going to see if I can get the guy's business card next time I'm out there. And before I upload this video, I'll scan it and put it in the video. Probably right here. All right. So that was the original. And unfortunately, we actually reviewed these in the car on the way home. And, uh... So we already know what they taste like. Wait until you see him when he gets to the last one. Ha <laughs> It'll be funny. Okay, so that was the original. Let's do the, um... The original, the, uh, the pepper. Mm -hmm. That's the most simplistic. Well, I think the original is the most simplistic. Well, that's the most simplistic after the original. And this one's actually... I don't want to spoil it, but you know where I'm probably going to go. Which one you want? So I got the little skimpy piece, but that's okay. It has a heavy... I would say over heavy. Not No, I wouldn't say it's over heavy, but... Very it's good. a very pronounced black pepper, cracked black pepper taste. So when you eat this, you know you got black pepper on it. What say it's you? You want to do the sweet next? And 
and I was talking to the guy. I don't know if it's some kind of FDA regulation about sending shop prepared jerky that if they got to have certain regulations or something or certain packaging. I don't know the whole ins and outs of it, but the guy says he does not ship this. So if you're in Old Town Spring, go check them out. And like I said, if you need any, I mean, they got literally like a wall bigger than what you see behind me. Probably double, maybe triple that of nothing but hot sauces. Stuff I never even heard of. One day I'll take the camera in there and show y'all. As where I got the, uh, in one of my videos y'all saw me use, uh, I think the name of it is Cajun Power Garlic Flavored Hot Sauce. That's where I got that from. I mean, he carries everything except for, like, your common stuff you can find in the stores, like Tabasco, Crystal, and Trappy. So, you don't carry that. But everything else, you better believe it, he's got it. And they do dry rubs. They have a bunch of rubs. Hot sauces, rubs, and jerky is what they do. It's a cool little shop because it's also connected to a art gallery. You can go check out art. It's a building that's divided in, in the two sections. One side's uh, art gallery. The other is the pepper place. Okay. The sweet, I really don't taste sweet. I don't know what it's marinated in to make it sweet. But I don't. he says he gets the sweet. I don't get it. It's not really highly pronounced like the pepper or any of the other flavors are. However, it, I mean, if you, like, suck on it, you will be able to taste it. It's not a lot, but there is some there. Now, this is jalapeno garlic. This one, neither flavor is overpronounced, or I should say overpresent. I get a little more garlic than I do jalapeno. Afterwards. Really? So I don't get no heat off of this. I get more heat off of the black pepper. I don't get any heat off of the black pepper. Well, that goes to show you how much heat I'm getting off of this one. <laughs> I mean, if I get more heat off the black pepper. Now, here's the coup de gras. The last flavor. You can have the big piece if you like. I will. It don't matter whichever one you want to give me. I'm That's fine. Grab in. Oh goody! You want the small one? You want no, the small one? I want the big one. You sure? Yeah. I don't care because this is like my second favorite one. I like this one. All right, this is ghost pepper. <laughs> and you can see he uses real pepper because there's some of the flakes. I mean, some of the seeds. He uses real goat's pepper to make this. And there it is. It takes a minute, but that heat will get you. It's always good to chew a little bit and suck. Chew and suck. Get more flavor. And this one, like the jalapeno... I don't even taste the actual jalapeno pepper itself, like, because I know what jalapeno tastes like. And there's two different ways you could do jalapeno. You could have it pickled, like would you get with your nachos, or you could have fresh jalapeno. And they both have two distinctively different tastes. And on that jalapeno, I don't get the pickled vinegary taste, 
or the fresh jalapeno taste. I don't get either or. This, I get, not only do I get the heat of the ghost pepper, but I get the flavor of the ghost pepper. Now, I've eaten some hot crap in my life. Like, I've eaten... There he goes. He's going to go get him some milk. He's, he's Audi 500. Uh, I've eaten stuff with scorpion peppers. And that's just freaking retardedly hot just to be hot. Because the flavor is ridiculous. I mean, there is no flavor, really. I mean, it's so hot you don't taste it. Like this and habaneros, I could taste the peppers. And they have a good taste. Not only are they freaking outrageously hot... They're also uh, very um, flavorful. What is this? It won't go away. What are you drinking? Water? No. Oh, you're drinking milk. <laughs> let's get a let's get a shot of that. Hold on. Turn around. Come on. Let's let's see you chugging the milk out the carton. Come on. One, two, three. Well, see, <laughs> he he's 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 not having any of that. He's all. Let's put it to you this way. I went and picked him up from school, and then I had to go back and talk with my friend at his shop. Mm -hmm. So we were eating these. Feel. We were actually eating these on the way back to the my friend's shop. Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Dad, Dad, I need something to drink. I need something to drink." Ah. So I went to go get him something to drink, and we wound up going into this little cafe that's in there that I've never been to because the cafe I normally go to was closed. So we went over to this other cafe, and they got an ice cream parlor inside. He's like, Dad, can I have ice cream instead? So I got him some ice cream. Anyway, so out of the five, son, since you're over there, what are you getting? More ice cream? Huh? Yep. It worked the best. He's got, and, and then you got my ice cream the boot. He's a little sucker. That's okay. I eat his ice cream all the time. Look at him. Look at him. He's got my blue bell. <laughs> He's got my blue bell. So anyhow... Out of the five, which one do you prefer? I like the pepper one best. You like the black pepper one best. Mm -hmm. And then what's your next one? Then hmm, the the garlic and jalapeno. Garlic jalapeno, then your next one? Mm, the original. Then your next? The ghost. Next? Sweet. Sweet? You like ghosts better than the sweet, even though it burns you? Mm hmm Alright, so that was his five in order. No, I like the flavor. My five in order is the black pepper, the ghost, the original, the jalapeno garlic, and then the sweet. Because I, I just don't get the sweet. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get the flavor of it. I don't taste it at all. I'm sorry, but that's just me. But let's rate this place. Or not the place so much, but the jerky. I'm going to have to go around and compare it to like store-bought jerky that is not like craft-made at a business where you get off the shelf kind of thing. I'm comparing. That's the only other jerky. Well, no, I've had jerky at the New Orleans Zoo that was... Uh, what alligator jerky yeah. and elk jerky and they had different animal jerkies but and that was craft type jerky so but this is the only other craft jerky that I've had mm -hmm. so I only got to compare it to like other animals but I've never had other beef jerkies uh, so I'm gonna have to compare it to uh, store bought jerky and I'm gonna have to mess around and give them a 4.5 4, 4. 4.5 uh, cause there are some store brands that I actually like their jerky, but I mean, this is as far as the thickness of the meat and the quality of the meat. Cause I've watched him from beginning to end, you know, I mean, well not beginning to end watching the whole time, but I mean, I've been at my friend's shop enough to where I see him load the smokers and unload the smokers and cause they do it on the back patio and then. They bring. I've never seen him actually mix the rubs or whatever he uses to cure it in, but I've seen him load the smokers, unload the smokers, bag it up. And I've sampled it all before, and this is my son's first time. But, yeah, I'm going to give him a 4.5. Um, what do you give him? 
I give them about the same rating, yeah. About the same rating, 4.5. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, and like I said, it's just like if you had a smoker at your house and you made your own damn jerky. Or whatever you use to make jerky. Dehydrator, smoker, whatever the hell it is. But you get the gist. So, down here, there is a subscription button. You can subscribe to my channel. Become part of the Big Red Food Army. Next to it, it's a ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a, -ling -a, -ling, a little bell. That'll send you notifications when I upload new stuff. I mean, you'll get notifications if you don't click the bell, but more than likely, you get them more often than not if you click the bell. So if you're going to subscribe, it's just right next door. Click the little ding-a-ling. Um, uh, uh, excuse me? Um, also, down there is a comment section. Open it up. There's more than just the description of this uh, video in it. There's links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, links to this channel's homepage where you can find my older videos. And I've got them, you know, I know the world likes to be hand-fed and molly collied you know, easy. So I got everything separated nice and easy for you. If you only like the snack reviews, bam, watch those. You like the fast food reviews, bam, there you go. You don't have to go sifting through all the videos. I got it separated by a category of the type of show I do. And I got, what, about seven different <coughs> shows? Yeah. Six, seven, I don't know. We lost track. But we just do them for you guys, for your entertainment. So open up, the, and then down right underneath that, there's a thing called comments. Type me a comment, I'll type you one back. Show me yours, and I'll show you mine. And also, come up a little bit, and there's thumbs up, thumbs down. Bam, bam, hit me with one. It don't matter which one. It just lets me know you're watching. If I get more of these, I know more people like it. I get more of these, I know people don't like it, and I do something different. But we like these better. Also, as usual, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share this video with your family and friends. Let them know how you've been getting down with the Big Red. And I've been Big Red. That's Little Red. And this has been another Big Red Snack Attack. I'll see you next time when we meet at the vending machine. I'm out. I got to go cook. So, you know, there's another video about to be made. See ya.